Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're just making all kinds of videos today because we're working like dogs around here. So, <laughs> great weather. I'm cleaning the house, pre-cleaning, cleaning all the things that have to do with my chickens and my dogs and moving things and organizing, cleaning the wood stove, and I'm going to be utilizing all this wood ash. We primarily use all of that either with the chickens or in the garden. But you really need to Google and uh, do a little research because there's a lot of great aspects in terms of how you can use wood ash bunches. And you know about making soap. It can absorb odor. It can help take stains off the driveway. It can do all sorts of things, okay? But the two main things that I use it for is to add it into the dust bathing areas for my chickens. You can add sand with that, and you can add a little bit of DE, definitely. And the main thing that I use it for for my garden is I mix it back in to make plant food. I also put it in with my compost, and I just go out there and I sprinkle it, to be honest with you. It's really good for plants that like calcium, okay? Uh, your calcium carbonate, you can use eggshells as well, but uh, maybe around your apple trees, cabbage, tomatoes. So, if you're cleaning out your wood stove, there's the Lopi Liberty, right? Liberty. And uh, we're going to take it out there and we're going to mix it up for the chickens. And I may put some in the compost. And I'm going to hold some back and sprinkle it around the base of my apple trees. So, let's get moving. So I'm finishing off and cleaning this out really good. We're having some warm weather. So anytime that, uh, this is what wood stove living looks like, guys, okay? Uh, we, as I've told you 1.6 million times, we're not particularly off grid, but we do try to utilize the wood stove here as our main heat source, right? And um, it's just more effective, and plus I can cook on it when I need to. You go one winter up here on this mountain in this old home where you lose power for a couple of days and it is cold as the dickens, uh, that's, that's some humble pie right there, okay? So what we're doing here is I'm just really wanting to, to get this cleaned out. I'm sure we will um, have more fires this season as we are not even to Valentine's Day yet. Uh, but, um, you know, when I can get ahead on some cleaning before spring and help things along, I certainly do so. So to just let you know, so here's all this wood ash I'm talking about, an entire large uh, bucket. And it doesn't take a lot. If you use the wood stove uh, for, for a few days in a row, <laughs> and then it cool, you know, we can have this scoop out, um, this is what you're going to get. Okay, so when you're looking at this, it is mainly comprised of calcium, potassium, uh, phosphorus and magnesium okay that's why it's so good in your garden hello and then it also has the traces of like iron and manganese um, some sodium and whatnot so in my plant food video we mix this in there okay it's absolutely in there it's also great for your chickens to dust bathe in if you like I said you mix it sprinkle it around the base of some of your that like your apple trees and whatnot so Guys, take use of this. And let me tell you right now, let's say you have a, you don't have a wood stove. Uh, you want to make sure you're using really good natural wood. You know, you, you want it to be your hardwoods, your natural woods, things like that. What you would be using in a wood stove. You need to be particular about that, right? Natural woods, untreated wood, all that. So that's what you want organically out there in your garden with your chickens, etc., etc. If you're going to make soap... Uh, if you've got lard and whatnot and you want to mix, you know, do that whole deal, make soap, you can do so as well. I would recommend, depending on how much of this you get, or like I was trying to say, maybe you don't have a wood stove scenario. Maybe your mom does. Maybe a neighbor does. Try to get you a really good bucket of this. It's not really difficult to come by for somebody that uses a wood stove like we do. And, uh, you know, put this aside. Save some for your chickens and put some aside for that plant food that's going to be coming up here in the coming months because, hey, it's seed season, right? It's time to start those seeds and get all that going for the garden. All right, let's get this whipped up outside. I've got a lot of cleaning to do. Let's get moving. All right, guys, so here we are. You know, I collected all of this, and it started raining, so I've had to wait until we had a really nice sunny day. So we have that today, but nonetheless, the video continues. So this has been sitting out by my door in the dry. This is all that wood ash. I've got another whole full bucket probably waiting on me because we've ran the fire since. That's what's so amazing about, you know, having a wonderful wood stove 
you just can't get any better than the, the real wood heat, the reliability, and the benefits if you use the correct wood. Here's what I'm going to do today because I know I have an abundance of this. Mr. Peaches, you can come over and tell everybody good morning. I'm going to put some of this in here, this old little deal here. Say good morning. This is going to be for dust bathing. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because where my buff Orpingtons are, they're trying to develop their spots where they dust bathe. Okay, so it's a newer run, and it's a little bit wet because it's been raining and whatnot. So I'm going to put this in here and give them the option of having a, this whole dust bin. I've done this before. It works great, okay? They just got to kind of figure it out. Um, if it gets knocked over, they'll just get right into it on the ground. But I'm trying to keep it as dry as possible for as long as possible. Then what I'm going to do is come over here to my little composter. Now I have a huge compost way down yonder on the other side of the old pond. I'm going to put a little bit in here with my compost. Okay. Then I'm going to sprinkle some in my garden. I want you to look at this over here. Miss Opal, my blue Sumatra. This is my Back to Eden garden. She gets, look what she's been doing. Mm-hmm. Girl's been working. Girl's been working. So we're doing waters and all this stuff. I, I'm going to put a little bit in here. Then I'm going to leave a little bit to go way down yonder. I know y'all like to see, you can't really tell. But I have some apple trees. I think we've got four or five. And we're going to be adding more. So I'm going to add all this. So I'm going to just sort of spread the love around. And if I don't get to all my areas this morning... I will hit her on her tomorrow because I've got more wood ash. Oh, come here. Oh, God love it. He's not getting his attention, everybody. Hmm, are you going to dust bath? I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. All right, guys. So let's get to work. Let's see what we can do with all of this wonderful stuff right here. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put it over here where it's sunny. Hi, sweeties. We've got these hickory nuts that are falling. Hickory tree. We've got a huge hickory tree. So they try to kind of dust bathe over in here and over there, but because there's so many nuts, see, they're having a rough time, and we want them to dust bathe. Plus, like I said, it's been raining off and on a lot for the past week, so it's kind of wet. So I'm going to set this here. They may or may not get into it. We've got a lot of young birds in here, so they're still figuring stuff out, but I want to leave them the option. You want to give them as many options as possible. You know, if you want to forage, you know, let your birds forage and whatever, I still continue leaving food in the, you know, in the run because you never know if they're going to get everything they need. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit around each of my apple trees that need to be tended to. You know, it. time to do some pruning and all of this stuff around mid-February. So I'm just going to put a little bit around the base of each of my trees. All of these trees come from Old Fred. These are uh, stamen wine sap trees except towards the back I've added some extra ones for pollination just to help out. So I'm going to place all of this around just a dusting. Why not? And then I've got to come and do pruning and more mulching and composting and putting more bedding down. But we're just now getting to the point where we're doing that again. So you can see it's time to do it. Van, are you our number one rooster? Huh? Are you the number one man, Van the man? Of course you are. <coughs> That's right. That's my boy. Okay, so this week, I've got to get in here and get some stuff out of the barn. But you can see, they dust bathe in this area. They always have. I still have some left over after the apples. So before I hit the garden area, I'm going to do a little bit more in here in the barn. Can't hurt anything. Like I said, I put down diatomaceous earth and the wood ash. Excuse me, sisters. You have boxes for this mess. Hello, hello. Boy, it's a pretty little leg, isn't it? All right. You, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cheesy. You telling everybody good morning, too? Time to get in here and brush and clip you a little bit. Yes. You sweetheart. Yeah. What's up with you? What's up with you? You want this, you want attention. Won't you go won't you go roam like all these other great Pyrenees? I'm just teasing you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, so I'm at the bottom here, so the wind, I 
I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit. Let the wind catch it. Just, just a little slight dusting here, no big deal. I really just wanna move on with it, right? So I'm, what I'm gonna do is put this down in here. You see that? I don't know if you can see it, guys. And the sun's so bright. I'm just so happy to see sunshine. All right, so just putting that down in here. Putting this over in here, just making sure the wind is not, you know, it's going the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna put the rest in the compost pile. Yeah, and we will be done. Oh, come on there we go Woo! all right guys so we'll just do something like this again here today probably take it down to the other massive compost pile we we're trying to build down there we're hitting another dust bathing area okay so emptied out ready to go mr peaches what are you doing what how did you get back up here so fast he's gone everywhere with me haven't you guys thanks for watching us here at appalachia's homestead busy day Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. That's right. And don't forget about the great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. Let's go in here and see what these, these young, these lovelies are doing. Another round of hay, huh? What are you doing, sister? Loves her. All right, guys. We will talk to you soon. Have a great day.